I got a question in the comments about whether uh, maple would receive a flame treatment as well as ash. And the truth is, I have no idea. I don't do a lot of flame treating, but uh, it seemed like a really easy thing to test. So I grabbed a piece of ash, a piece of maple, and for kicks I threw in some purple heart. And now let's torch them up and see how this looks. I also just remembered that I put a smoke detector in my alarm in my garage not too long ago. So, that might go off any moment now. Better go open the door. Actually, no, it's cold. I'd rather listen to the smoke detector. So, that's a pretty good first coat. It hasn't burned a whole lot. But, uh, fortunately, nothing caught on fire. And I think that's probably cool enough to brush off a little. And there you have it. Uh, I guess that's really not too surprising. I would say that the uh, the ash probably is a little more appealing, but that's just because of the, the grain pattern on the ash. And I think if I kept sanding, I'd probably get through a little bit more of that, and the grain would highlight. Maybe I'll just do that now. The maple is a little bit smoother grain, although this is a slightly figured piece. You can kind of see maybe those horizontal lines from the, the tiger striping. And the purple heart, I think this was some sapwood because it wasn't really purple. Um, a lot of times purple heart will get a really deep purple when you heat it up. That's more of the heartwood, I believe. So that wasn't too impressive. Let's do some a little more sanding and then give it a second uh, second look. I think round three is in order. I think I'd say the ash is the best looking one just because of the grain. As, uh, you can sand down through the, the softer wood and you'll still see the darker lines in the grain. So it'll sort of darken that up a bit. And the maple because it's a, an even, more of an even wood, it doesn't have deep pores, it's a smooth surface, uh, it seems to get dark in, in more of an even, uh, even fashion. And uh, I think if I kept sanding it would probably get down to, um, to some more of a chocolate color like it did over here. You can still sort of see some of the lines from the, the figure, but uh, I don't think that's really going to show up too much from flame treating. It would be better to, to use a heat gun. And the purple heart, this is not a really nice looking piece of purple heart. I think that's why I had it set to the side, but uh, I'll say just to, to offer some redemption for purple heart. Let me go grab a piece here. This is a piece of purple heart that I baked in the oven. So that had a, a nice actual purple color. Uh, I don't think flame treating would be the way to go. It just seems to, to turn it black. Anyway, so that's uh, those are my findings. I guess the ash is the best option. Maple is less ideal, although the more figure it has, the more interesting it will be. And let's just forget about that one. Okay, one last look. I ran over everything with a cabinet scraper just to, to scrape some of the wood more evenly off the surface, and that's what we got. So the maple is still about the same as before. You can see some of the horizontal lines from the tiger striping, but not a whole lot. 
The ash obviously has the most uh, pronounced grain, and the Purple Heart still looks pretty dead. Once again, Exhibit B.